Well, there's no way but forward. Yeah. Yeah. She sounds really invested in all of this. Yeah, doesn't she always? Well, at least her voice actress is pretty good. I mean, I don't mind the casual sarcasm. What is this place? A really elaborate way to hide the damn treasure. <laughs> no fucking kidding. <laughs> yeah, so welcome to the really, really, really Tomb Raider-y parts. Huh. Wait a second. Press select. There are Roman numerals on the corner of Drake's map. This has got to mean something. So, we have 2, 5, and 7 on the map. Notice the 5 in front of us? Well, great. Basically, you just follow the numbers that are 2, 5, and 7, and you'll make your way through it on the correct path. Honestly, it's not really that hard. Translation, we don't feel like mapping her AI to actually follow you around. So, you just do it and we'll leave her here. To be fair, it'd be a really big system waste for her to follow you around. That, sir, is the bong. The bird is... the bird not so much. Well, the bird was at least a pipe. Can we settle on that? It was... it was... It was like a vase for small flowers. You are so gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, only thumb time. <laughs> All right, so you just keep following the numbers. Numbers. Gotta love numbers. Oh man, I'm completely lost. Yeah, well, I'm not. So shut up and climb the five. <laughs> Anywho, further up the stairs lies this giant this contraption, which uh, Drake should probably know better than to start. Yeah, at least it looks like they took the time to make it work correctly. Yeah, this actually looks believable. Well, not this part so much. Or that part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it seems to... Oh! Hey, Drake. I don't know, it just seems to me that it'd be really easy to not start this machinery and instead climb up that brick and mortar wall instead of this chain. I mean, at least that way you'd avoid the fire traps. <laughs> yeah, you could get, you know, climbing here and actually dig into the wall. So you'll notice on the sides here there's actually some spike strips that's sort of to prevent you from grabbing the side and cheating it. You do have to roll through. Later on there's one where you won't see those spike strips and it's really easy to avoid. Sully, you read me? Damn, nothing. Nope. Yeah, translation, no. Alright, so there's another treasure here, and it's not in front of that thing, it's actually over here to the side. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, they, they haven't made these treasures that hard to get. <laughs> yeah, the funny thing is that fire thing there is completely useless and does nothing. It's just there to fuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> that is not the finest looking brooch. That is way too simple. A crack fortune hunter. You find treasures and sell them for crack. <laughs> I was just gonna go there, so I'm glad at least one of us did it. <laughs> so this one, as you can see, has no spike strips, which means you just casually move to the side and you're done. Yeah, remember, like I said, that one on the step has nothing to do with anything, so don't even bother with it. Alright. Instead, there's a little hidden path over here. And a stairwell. Which is all kinda hard to see. <laughs> Also, every now and then, when you're by these plates, you can hit the select button, bring up your map, in case you forgot the numbers, or whatever. It's not really all that useful, considering it's kind of linear anyways. Okay, so this is the crappy one. As you can see, there are spike strips on the side here. Yeah. Which means that you do, in fact, have to avoid these. Oh, and uh, in case you're curious, even touching it to the slightest effing degree will actually send you ragdolling off the side, so it's not pretty. So either stay away or learn where the closest spot you can creep up to is. Yeah. Man, this is very douchey. No, this is very Tomb Raider-y. <laughs> yeah, I would 
Yeah, I was gonna say the only way to go hey, through is to I run between it. them. Yep. Hey, be careful. That thing doesn't whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> if I circled in that guy. It's alright! <laughs> I'm okay! Okay, so if you'll notice in this section we have another two fire cage things. Um, it's a little bit too difficult to try to hang on this edge and then move over to the right hand side. It doesn't really work, so instead what you have to do is sort of hop back up here and then you run across really fast. And as long as you hit circle really fast, everything's pretty much easier than the other encounters. <laughs> <laughs> easier, but, st but uh, actually it looks riskier. Yeah. So, you do need to grab that chain, you just run up and sort of grab it here. And, uh... Oh. Okay, maybe you don't need to grab that chain. <laughs> Thinking of the later part. <laughs> that was a complete total lie. Goddamn red herrings. I don't need to grab that chain, except when you don't. Looks like there's an elevator-powered doorway there. <laughs> Oh god. Spanish technology! Oh god, my brain can't handle this dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> See if you can find a way to get this gate open. Those oh, wily Spaniards. You know, I gotta go to Spain at least once in my life. What the hell? What the hell? Oh. <laughs> I don't know, some sort of cave coyote? <laughs> anyway. Sounds like a mess. Now I really want to go to Spain. For some reason I've got this... Dr. Seussical City that doesn't make a lick of sense. It's powered by elevators and water dropping over things and and lantern-like cage fires. <laughs> oh, there's the chain we needed to climb. Yeah. Sorry, they all kind of look the same to me. I forget which one's which. They're all rustic. That's a, that's a, that's a fair assessment. <laughs> they actually all do look the same. <laughs> Oh, an elevator-powered gate. And a drawbridge. <laughs> I'm telling you, you gotta see the marvels of España. <laughs> oh my. You lose. This just keeps getting better and better. Okay, and a non-subtle transition there, because yes, I died. Get over it. <laughs> Actually, there is a reason I'm mentioning that, and it's because if you die, there is one guy up here, and if you don't die, there's two. So it's actually sort of better to die there. <laughs> so I kind of died on purpose in this case. <laughs> ah, okay, fair enough. I'm a cheater. What can I say? <laughs> no, you're abusing the ones and o's. That's what I do. And there's, there's nothing wrong with it. Oh no, apparently we need to look out. Even though the explosion was down there. For some reason. Whatever. Yeah, anyway. Weird. So here, once again, we sort of see the downside of starting a game, or starting a chapter by itself. Um, here I am, and all I've got is this pistol. I have 60 rounds, and no shotguns, no whatever. If you were to continue from a last save, of course, you'd obviously keep all your stuff. And to be fair, it's really great to do while playing, it's just not very conducive to recording a Let's Play, unfortunately. Especially when I'm trying to get all the treasures and make sure that I'm not dying all the time. So I'd rather just play through it a couple times to make sure I'm doing it right. But yeah, in the end, it still really sucks to have four fucking bullets right now. <laughs> Getting to the heart of the matter. <laughs> yeah, the important thing is this sucks ass. <laughs> that was the most elaborate setup to I hate having four bullets. That's <laughs> what I do, man. I have to overexplain, you know, everything as much as possible, and then get to a simple statement which probably didn't need explanation in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Brought to you by leading man. Copyright 2011. <laughs> leading man loves you. <sighs> Out of bullets again. But we got this gun, which will, apparently will come in handy. Sweet. The magic revolver with no recoil. What are you talking about, man? It has a recoil. Look how high that jumps. Oh 
god. I don't know. The way he he, reco he recovers from it too quickly. No, I, I think know. you're watching the animation and not watching the HUD. The animation looks like he recovers fast, but if you watch the HUD, it jumps pretty far up. See? Like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's definite recoil there. It's just yeah. not what you want. <laughs> I, I, I am more watching the animation. I'm not... I won't lie. It's like a movie. Oh, by the way, I'm starting to play through Uncharted 2, and uh, those ads... Those ads are fucking bullshit. Brutal victory! <laughs> yes! Yeah! Yeah, I don't care what they say. It doesn't look like a movie. Oh, shit. There's some sneaky grenades being launched from a launcher. Oh, shit, part two. <laughs> the sequel. Electric Boogaloo. You know, I can't help but find some irony in the fact that there's a grenade launcher that ended up being, uh, that ended up being shot into some mortar. Oh, fuck this jump, by the way. Wow, that was a douchey jump. Yeah, Are was you supposed to be able to make that? Yeah, I'll make it right now. Oh my god! Yeah, I think it's because I had the gun out <laughs> and it just fired. I don't know, for some reason Drake uh. decided not to let go of the gun. Because he's an a-hole. <laughs> Stupid ass Drake. Damn. Take that, fatty! You got a grenade up your butt. Meh. Yeah. Some dudes like that. Uh, that's more about you than I ever wanted to know. I didn't include myself in that group. I'm just saying. Some dudes like that. <sighs> oh lord. That whole thing is way too elaborate. <laughs> One chain, two ladders! Drake was a stickler for efficiency. <laughs> There are way too many drakes in this game because it took me way too long to figure out what the fuck you were saying. I'm sorry, I meant Sir Francis. Well, yeah, I figured that out. <laughs> it just took an awkward pause to do it. <laughs> you little bastard. Look how far away that guy is. That's not even cool. Yeah, that shouldn't even be possible with a grenade launcher. The sniper rifle, yes. Grenade launcher, no. That guy is a crack shot, okay? He's really good at his job. Clearly, and that's why he hangs he out with a money. bunch of pirates. He needs all the money for crack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that had to hurt. I like how the weapons spiral through the air. Yeah. So, how's about this douchebag not dying? There we go. I just love to put these guys on these random little walkways all throughout here. <laughs> Okay, so it's also really easy to miss this treasure, but where we need to go is right here. There's another obvious cut there, simply because uh, this treasure is not easy to pick out and survive, as you'll see in a second. <laughs> yeah, wow. And another compact. Fancier compact, actually. Yeah, you're like, oh, okay, I'll just jump over here and... Oh, oh, fu oh fuck you! Ah, oh, <laughs> My life sucks! Splash! Yeah, so... We'll just transition out of that and head up the stairs. I noticed that they went back to the shitty weapons. Uh, what? Yeah, sorta, I guess. I mean, they like to sprinkle in AK-47s and stuff every now and then to fuck with you. Yeah, because you're currently carrying an AK when you had the M4 before. Yep. There's nothing here. This is getting so old. Nate? It's Drake. He never found it. He just died here. So much for greatness. Wasted his life for nothing. Nate, are you ready to get moving? Yeah. More than ever.
There's gotta That's be a way bullshit. 400 years and he still has fucking hair on his body? No way. Not just hair. Flowing, molded locks of hair. There should be dust left. <laughs> I can, I can. Your hair keeps growing after you're dead, you know. D you should read up on that. Yeah, but 400 years after your hair is done growing, actually, that's an urban legend. But anyway, <laughs> I don't know. Snopes.com said it was true. No, it's Some kind it's of a half truth. Up. Your hair is already <laughs> dead anyway. Hey, there's a ladder. Here, I think I can. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't boost. look that up. <laughs> What the hell just happened to Come her on. torch? No, uh, oh, you're heavier than you look. Can you reach it? Mm -hmm. Looks like an old hoist or something. There's a rope. I'll try to lower it down to you. Oh, I see a tunnel. We can get out this way. Hello, boys. Oh, easy, Eddie. Easy. What the hell's going on out there? Didn't you see them? Oh, no. Oh, God, no. We're trapped. Jesus, what is that? We're dead. We're all dead. Eddie, get back here. Jake, if we don't make it out of here, I just want you to know, I hate your guts. Yeah, likewise, pal. Now let's do this. Okay, you ready for this to turn into Resident Evil? Um, no. <laughs> uh, who is? <laughs> That's kind of weird. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that this is an unnecessary. Way entirely too dramatic tone shift. Hey, technically, this has been hinted at the whole time. Not the whole time. Pretty Just much. Yeah, there's a lot of points where they hint at this shit. I mean, you had a time when they found El Dorado and they were like, oh, are these things even human that are worshipping them? Or there was that uh, hanging thing in the tree that he was like, oh, that's really creepy. Uh, there's. Uh, there was the Nazis, who they said, like, things were gnawing on them. There's, uh, oh, there's, uh, the, the trap that was made from the parts of the airplane. Well, that's when, the, well, when the, the trap was made from the parts of the airplane, that's when it started clicking, that's when it, it started clicking for me. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not saying that it's not extremely subtle all those other times, but, I mean, you can't say that it's not in presence. It's definitely laced all the way through this, I mean... But don't get me wrong, I'm not going to pretend this isn't a huge shift or anything. It, I mean, let's arena battle with zombies, that's pretty fucking weird. <laughs> it's it, it's uh, wildly inconsistent with, <laughs> with everything else you've been dealing with. I guess, uh, I guess they're halfway through the game, or near the end of the game, they're like, you know what? This whole cover mechanic thing is maybe not a good idea. Let's just do zombies. We you think yeah, zombies? Uh, yeah. Okay. Hey guys, did you play Resident Evil 5? Yeah. You know, that was fun, let's do that. One, I don't think Resident Evil 5 was out yet, and two, Eddie doesn't seem to be doing a lot with his gold fucking gun over there. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately it's not the uh it's not the golden gun from Goldeneye. No kidding. Also you can you can see if they grab you, there's a little six axis thing that you get to shake the remote and then they let go of you. Boy, they definitely don't give you a lot of ammo here. Okay, note to self, never stand over the pit where the monsters are coming out of while firing my gun and screaming and shouting like I'm some sort of badass. Yeah. <laughs> or how about this, just don't stand close to cliffs. <laughs> yeah, that works. That's a lot easier to remember. 
<laughs> so pretty much the shotgun's your best friend in this section. I mean, even just running around, blind firing will do it in pretty much one or two shots. Oh, and you get the little fake achievement thing for it, which is pretty sweet. That was uh, actually good placement there. And then I totally just jumped through the rope. Fuck yeah. you, game. So much for good placements. <laughs> Also, if Eddie comes back as a zombie, I'm calling, uh, I'm calling bullshit. Uh, you'll just have to wait and see. So from a design standpoint, this part I really like, just because of how simple it is. I mean, technically all you're doing is just running forward at the camera, pressing R1 to shoot at any one of the descendant guys that is gets too close. Uh, but yeah, all you do is just keep firing and pumping every now and then, and you're done. Go! 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 What the hell were those things? I don't know. I don't know. Are you okay? Yeah. Nate. Okay. I don't think they can get through this. Nate. What? Where are we? I'm not sure. Go! <sighs> wow. This explains the U-boat in the Amazon. Nate, come here, look at this. So they found it. They must have broken into the vault and cleared it out. Yeah, but what's the monastery got to do with it? I, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. If that's where the statue is now... Oh, man, we, we were right on top of it. I bet this will take us to the surface. Guess the Nazis didn't pay their electric bill. Oh, damn it! You know, I bet if we can make it to the generator room... We could get the power turned back on. We just gotta find a way out of here first. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Found a way out. Nice work. Yeah. All right, let's go. Nope. This one's all you, cowboy. What do you mean? Nate, you know I can't make that jump. There's no way I'm leaving you here alone with those we things. We don't have a choice. Just go turn the power on, come back and get me, and then we'll get the hell out of here, okay? Just go. I will be right back. Yeah. <laughs> 